Since ChatGPT is released, machine learning has got the spotlight of the entire world. And everyone is talking about machine learning these days. Now, how to use ChatGPT and what is the impact of that? That is all over the internet. And I don't think I have to cover that. There are so many videos on how to use ChatGPT and what are the main use cases of ChatGPT which are very useful for us these days. And from my experience, ChatGPT can definitely enhance us as developer. And I personally feel that we can be at least 10 times more productive using ChatGPT. But because of rise of ChatGPT and the exponential growth we are seeing in AI and ML, which is artificial intelligence and machine learning, it is evident that we have to learn and embrace it, otherwise we'll be left behind. Hence, it is important that I start preparing myself as well as my audience about the importance of machine learning and how we can prepare ourselves with the advancement of machine learning so that we can remain relevant in the era of AI and machine learning. So in today's video, I'm going to mainly focus on the introduction of machine learning. If you are already aware of what is machine learning and have a very good idea about it, you can skip this video. Machine learning is a field of computer science and it mainly enables computers to learn and improve their performance from the data on a specific task. And for that, we don't have to write explicit program. For example, we do not have to write if condition, for loops, and things of that nature for the program to work. The program will learn itself by going through historical data and figuring out pattern from the data itself. Machine learning has become extremely popular in the recent years and it has been used in wide range of problems. But the biggest impact it had is in terms of natural language processing, image recognition, and fraud detection. So first let's talk about what is machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the development of algorithms and statistical models that enable computers to learn from the data. Machine learning algorithms can automatically learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Now let's talk about what are the different types of machine learning. There are three main types of machine learning and they are supervised learning, which is the first one. Supervised learning involves learning from level data, meaning the data itself will be leveled where the desired output is already known. The goal of supervised learning is to learn a function that maps input to output. So it's essentially sending input which are leveled and known, and then the output which is also known, and then feed this to the machine, and then put all the data and let machine learn from that. So that after that, when it gets the same data, it can predict what is the output. So that is supervised learning. The next type of machine learning is unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning involves learning from unlevel data, where the desired output is also not known. The goal of unsupervised learning is to find pattern or structure in the data. And the third form of machine learning is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning involves learning by interacting with an environment where the machine receives rewards or penalties based on its action. The goal of reinforcement learning is to learn a policy that maximizes the cumulative award. Now, most of the machine learning application that we use, for example, ChatGPT, ChatGPT also have a reinforcement learning 
For example, when you ask a question, if it provides an incorrect answer, then you can tell it the answer is incorrect and that is a reinforcement back to ChatGPT and it uses that to refine its model. What are the different applications of machine learning? I already mentioned three main applications, but let's go through some details. The first one is natural language processing. Machine learning algorithm can be used to process and analyze human language, enable applications such as chatbot, sentiment analysis, and language translation. Natural language processing application is one of the first application of machine learning. An example of that is of course, ChatGPT, but even before that, things like Siri, which is the virtual assistant in iPhone, also uses natural language processing. Also the Google virtual assistant, Alexa, all these uses natural language processing for understanding and processing natural language and provide answer to that. The next application is image and video recognition. Machine learning algorithm can be used to analyze and classify images and videos, enabling applications such as facial recognition, object detection, and content moderation. The next one is fraud detection. Machine learning algorithm can be used to detect fraud and anomalies in financial transaction which reduces loss for businesses and financial institution. And this is something which has been in use for quite some time. Bigger financial institutions use fraud detection through machine learning for quite some time now. The next application of machine learning is in healthcare. Machine learning algorithm can be used to analyze medical images, diagnosing disease, predicting outcome of patient, improving accuracy and speed of medical diagnosis and treatment. And this is the one where I'm most excited about because this can bring the most value to humanity when it comes to the application of machine learning. And the last one is marketing. And machine learning algorithm can be used to analyze customer data and behavior enabling personalized marketing campaign and improving customer relation. And this is something which already been used by advertisement company like Google and Facebook for understanding our behavior and providing targeted content. So machine learning is going to be a very powerful tool for solving all kinds of complex problem and improving the accuracy and efficiency of many industries. And as I mentioned, as a developer, we have to embrace machine learning and understand what are the parts we are going to learn and what is going to be most impactful. Now, I personally do not think that we will be involved in building large language model. There are already extremely popular large language model like ChatGPT4, which is from OpenAI, and then Bird, which is from Google. The future is going to be using this large language model and building application on them. So for the next few videos, the goal is going to be understand the machine learning landscape, where we stand, and as .NET developer, how we can use our skill in the world of AI and ML and use our skill, what are different industries that we can target, and what are the different skills in AI ML that we have to learn to keep us relevant as well as get better opportunities. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to this channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.